For roughly two million years ago, the dense forests of Southeast Asia provided a thriving habitat for Gigantopithecus, which is believed to have been the largest ape to ever roam the Earth. This extinct primate has fascinated scientists who have carefully put together fragments of its limited fossil record to unravel the mysteries of its biology and behavior. While the complete appearance of this monster remains uncertain due to the scarcity of fossils, genetic evidence has shown that this ancient ape shares a common ancestor with the orangutan. Standing at towering heights of up to 10 feet or 3 meters and weighing an astonishing 1,100 pounds, 500 kilograms, Gigantopithecus was a true giant. This is only an estimation since the measurements are based on the size of the few fossils discovered, which are predominantly teeth. Most of these discoveries have been collected from cave sites in southern China, although there is also a lot of evidence of the species from northern Vietnam and northern Thailand. The presence of thick enamel on its teeth hints at adaptations for consuming a vegetarian diet with a strong appetite for bamboo. Gigantopithecus disappeared from the face of the earth around 100,000 years ago, and it's not certain why it went extinct, but it was likely due to changing environmental conditions affecting its food supply, as suggested by some theories. But what if Gigantopithecus were alive today? Would it be able to survive and thrive in the modern world? If Gigantopithecus were hypothetically introduced into our modern world, it would face significant challenges in coping with the present climate compared to what it experienced in its prehistoric environment. Understanding how Gigantopithecus would adapt to the changed climate requires an examination of the climatic conditions it thrived in during the past and the implications of current climate conditions on its physiology and survival. During the Pleistocene epoch, the giant ape inhabited the dense forests of Southeast Asia, which provided favorable living conditions for its large body. However, since its extinction, the climate in the region has undergone significant changes. The Earth's temperature has risen considerably, resulting in altered weather patterns and increased average temperatures around the world. Present-day Southeast Asia experiences consistently high temperatures, with average annual temperatures ranging from 25 to 35 degrees Celsius, 77 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. This warm and tropical climate differs from the Pleistocene era when Gigantopithecus thrived. The ability to effectively thermoregulate becomes crucial for survival, but given its large body size and low surface area to volume ratio, it would encounter challenges in regulating its body temperature in such a hot climate, making it prone to overheating, heat stress, and related health issues. The changing climate also influences the distribution and abundance of plant species, which directly affects the food resources available to Gigantopithecus. In its prehistoric world, Gigantopithecus likely had access to a diverse range of plant species, including bamboo, which played a crucial role in its diet. However, the modern world presents a vastly different scenario. Human activities have significantly altered the composition and availability of plant resources. The introduction of non-native plant species and the expansion of agriculture have transformed landscapes, replacing natural habitats with monoculture crops or urban areas. This change has reduced the diversity and availability of plant species, potentially limiting the food sources Gigantopithecus once relied upon. Changes in temperature and precipitation patterns affect the distribution and phenology of plant species. Alterations in flowering and fruiting seasons can disrupt the timing of key food resources, impacting the synchronization between Gigantopithecus's feeding habits and the availability of ripe fruits or seeds. The decline or shifting distribution of specific plant species due to changing climatic conditions could further limit the availability and quality of food resources for this massive primate. Certain plants Gigantopithecus depended on may struggle to adapt to the changing climate, potentially reducing their abundance or even leading to their disappearance. This could result in a scarcity of preferred food sources for Gigantopithecus, forcing it to seek alternative food options or contend with increased competition from other herbivores. Also, human-induced habitat loss and fragmentation have significantly reduced the available habitats for Gigantopithecus. The loss of natural forests due to deforestation, logging, and urbanization has diminished the suitable habitats that once supported diverse vegetation and abundant food resources. Gigantopithecus would face the challenge of finding adequate habitats with sufficient food to sustain its large body size. 
the introduction of Gigantopithecus into modern ecosystems would likely be met with significant challenges and potential negative consequences. The current ecological landscape is already populated by a diverse array of species that have evolved and adapted to their respective ecological niches over time. If Gigantopithecus were to be reintroduced, it would have to compete with these well-established species for essential resources such as food, water, and shelter. The competition for limited resources could severely limit Gigantopithecus' ability to thrive and survive. Other primates and large mammals, which have already occupied ecological niches and established hierarchies, would pose aggressive competition for resources. This intense competition could potentially lead to conflicts and territorial disputes, jeopardizing the survival of Gigantopithecus in its reintroduced environment. In addition, the presence of Gigantopithecus could have a significant impact on existing species, particularly pandas. As pandas are already vulnerable and dependent on specific habitats and food sources, the introduction of a large competitor like Gigantopithecus could disrupt their ecological balance and further threaten their survival. The chances of Gigantopithecus surviving in the present era would have been slim. Being a large animal, it faced inherent challenges that hindered its ability to adapt and thrive. Larger animals typically have lower reproductive rates and longer generation times compared to smaller animals. This means they reproduce less frequently and produce fewer offspring, making it harder for their populations to rebound from declines. While it is interesting to imagine Gigantopithecus flourishing now, the combination of habitat loss, ecosystem changes, limited food availability and ecological competition makes survival very unlikely. That concludes our video for today. Thank you for watching. We'd love to know your thought on the possibility of Gigantopithecus surviving in today's world. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below.